Why do flowers bloom? They're all just going to wilt. Beauty, ugliness, everything. It all just fades without a trace. Ripe already, a lush red. What a tragic sound. Coco? What was that? Ariadne. The tale of a beautiful girl who used thread to escape a labyrinth. Thank you for blooming. You must have worked so hard. I like things that let me feel a touch of eternity. Eternity? Yes, eternity. Flowers, grass, trees, stars too. Stars are eternally in the sky, and flowers live countless lives on the ground. Stars and flowers are the same. It doesn't matter if they wilt or fade, because the moment you feel their beauty will not. A flower will leave seeds budding again and again. I don't understand, Coco. You can't even see stars or flowers. There are things you don't need eyes to know. Close your eyes. Open your ears. Can you not hear the singing of the stars? Can you not hear the whispering of the flowers? Mm -hmm. The scent of flowers is all around me, and the stars are in the sky beyond. I cannot see them, but I know they are there. Let's look at the stars together someday, Chloe. It's a promise. Don't forget. Coco. Just a dream. Huh? Chloe, answer me! Chloe! Chloe? Sorry, I was asleep. Asleep and dreaming. Sorry to bug you when you're just waking up, but we need you in the lab now. It's an emergency. We've got a meteora. I know. Huh?
I've been having the same dream a lot lately. A dream where I speak with someone who has... gone. Far away. People coming and going. Noise. Chatter. As I gaze out at the peaceful city, the lingering strands of the nightmare fade. Such a beautifully built place. If I just accept this reality, will the nightmares go away? But my reality is... The promise. Huh. Chloe, we don't have time. Let's do the briefing here and now. Roger, Alba. <gasps> hey there, Chloe! Perfect timing! Feast your eyes on these. Look at how smooth and slick these arms are, and the color. Ah, this beautiful obsidian. What are you... This is through texture vision, remember? You can't touch me. You think I don't know that? It's part of testing these babies out. Yeah. The synthetic mirror circuits go right to the fingers. Huh, I sure did good work yesterday. My new body works great and our friends came out to play. <laughs> what a great day today is. Everything's coming up, Julie. Hmm, yesterday, today, yesterday, today. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Phew, looks like I made it in time. Second Lieutenant Yamato Amanaki, reporting for duty. You're ten minutes late, Yamato. <laughs> it's not like the world's gonna end. I'm here and ready to roll. That's what matters. Protocol is protocol. Prometheus is small, but we are a military organization. Now then, we've got our two Machia pilots on board. So, protectors of humanity, you ready to fight? Yeah, just let me at him, Professor Julie. I was born ready. I appreciate the eagerness, but don't blow them up, okay? They vanish without a trace if you do. Capture them and get me a sample. Those are your orders. Gods, I just can't wait to get one under my scalpel. I'll make its dissection my finest work. Professor Julie, just calm down a little, if you would. Mission plan. An enemy that appeared on the surface is approaching the underground city's vicinity. Yamato will take the front in the Ares Machia. Chloe will deploy behind him in the Alto Machia. After deployment, the Alto Machia will move into rail cannon striking range. The Ares Machia will act as support. A wave attack from the Meteor on the Ares Machia is expected during your advance. A thorn wave, huh? Tough as the Machia is, it can't shrug off a direct hit from one of those. When the Meteora fires its thorn wave, the Ares Machia will have to weaken it with an attack. Then, activate the mirror generator in the Alto Machia. Ah, the energy conversion barrier. Right. If you put up the conversion barrier with the mirror generator, You'll be able to negate the Meteora's Thorn Wave and use that energy for a counterattack. Nothing stings them more than an attack that uses their own energy. Then, when you've gotten it pinned down... Blow a hole in it with the Rail Cannon. Chloe, no one else can grab and fire the rail cannons when they've been deployed. Only you and your Alto Machia. I know. You'll be using piercing electron cluster rounds. 
We expect the enemy to make a straight line towards you, but we still don't have a perfect read on their activity patterns yet. Don't worry about it. Chloe's in safe hands. Uh, says the man who tripped in front of the enemy last battle. Kill! General Dieter. If a battle like this gives you pause, we have no future. Show them the power of Prometheus. I expect greatness from you. Roger. Roger, General. Good luck out there! Chloe, raise your layer level. I can't confirm your link with no one. Oh. Can you see the stars, Chloe? Uh. Then let us be off. Ark Noah is your bow, and you are her archer. Let us shoot down this false star. If anyone's false, it's you. Chloe, at least try to get along in battle, okay? Just like always, bring this Titan fire with your own hands. User authentication completed. R2YF, Chloe. Ship 11, Alto Machia. Surface. Keep this thing standing, Noah. Acknowledged. Beginning Machia connection. Activating the Connie links. Motion check. Put both arms through Makani links. Effective connection confirmed. Initiating cranial connection. Connection complete. All clear. I'm switching over power. Deployed. 
Now, combine left and right. Firing output to 120%. Wait, you what? Beginning energy charge. Please pull the trigger when it reaches 120%. I will assist your aim. one of them. I'll kill them myself. This is reality. My reality. A surface destroyed by the Meteora. An underground world without her. Battle after battle. Dream after dream. When will I be free of it? Of that nightmare? Pilot Chloe, entering recovery mode. It's a promise. Don't forget. Every tea is fake around me 